Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Frank Quinez. I am the ambassador of reading. And today's topic is remodel with caution. Remodel with caution. Uh, I know that um, it's very important for people to pull permits, but many times they don't pull permits for whatever reason they don't pull permits. And many times they hire people that are not fully aware of, of what needs to be done in a remodel. I have a neighbor out in uh, Fontana. I don't live out in the city of Fontana. However, we do own a property out there and my neighbor decided to do an addition and they hire somebody that doesn't have the experience. Maybe they do know how to do some part of the construction, but they don't have the experience to do what they do. Many times people think, oh, they called the inspector on me or my neighbors and so, and nobody called the inspector. It's really easy for an inspector to see that somebody didn't pull permits or that somebody's doing something wrong. And the first thing I wanna talk about is the height. My neighbor, what they did, and this is what, this is what catches anybody's eyes that knows how to do construction, is the height on the, on the doors and the windows. Uh, what they did, all your windows and all your doors are supposed to have the same height, so they go to the same level. What my neighbor did is that they got this window and not only one they did two or three where this one is lower than the door and lower than the other window and as you go around they have different heights because windows come in different uh sizes four by four four by three two by two so maybe they thought okay well we'll do the structure here maybe uh the lady the owner said well i'm about this height put it right here so i can open and close and the thing is it's got to look standard all the height all around the windows all around the whole house has to be the same height. Now there are do doors that are taller and if the doors go taller, then the windows gotta go at that height. Everything has to look level, that's one. So if you're gonna get somebody to remodel and they don't know, well, this is gonna help you know if they know what they're doing or not. Now, my suggestion is get a permit, but if you don't wanna get a permit because it's just gonna be the windows and the doors, fine, then go ahead and do the windows and the doors but do caution with this, the same height. <clears throat> the beam, if they're gonna do a wall for you, make sure that uh, above the door, th there's this thing called a four by four. It cannot be a two by four, not a, usually it's the, whatever they build the wall with is a two by four, but what they need on top of the door is a four by four, so it's gonna be square. It's gonna be a, squ a square, and it, that's gonna support, um, that's going to support the weight from the top to here to the bottom and it's going to be supported by the sides called the king studs and supporting studs. So you need a 4x4 four four there. You Usually you're going to need a 4x4 four four on all the windows. Now if you have a long, longer window than 4x4 four four, then it's probably going to be a 4x6, usually an inch per foot. So. Uh, that's gonna be, it, it all depends on the size of the window, but for the most part, it's gonna be a four by four. Um, plumbing, and the plumbing is crucial. Many times, let's say the pipe goes in through here, and then it turns because the, your sink is gonna be there. Well, if it goes in through the two by four, now you gotta protect the, the plumbing with a small uh, metal plate. Because if you don't know that there, the, there's a, once they close everything with the drywall and the stucco, if you don't know that the pipe is running through there, you could just put a, a, a nail through there or screw through there and it's going to cost you a lot of problems, a lot of money, a lot of headaches. Now, many times um, the electrical uh, has to go above the doors because it starts here and then it's going to go through here, down through here and then over here because you're going to get a plug there. Every time the wire goes through a, the two by four, you have to have a metal plate protecting uh, the wire. Now, if you have a two story and it goes all the way to the top, then you're going to pr protect your plumbing too. Plumbing and wiring, every time the two by, f every time the wire or the plumbing goes through a two by four or two by six, you need a metal plate. So you're going to be able to see that if somebody builds you a wall and they're ready to cover it and you see wires that went through your wood and you don't see the metal plate, then you can ask him, hey, I know that you have to have a metal plate here and there and there and there and they're probably going to say, oh, okay, we'll put them on for you. Or maybe they're going to discover, wow, I didn't know I had a metal plate. Now I got to check everything. Um, so plumbing and electrical level. Now this one 
it's, it's pretty simple, but many times it could save you headaches. When you do your concrete, let's say this, this is not on a raised foundation, it's on a, on a concrete slab. Many times people want a, a straight concrete, a leveled concrete. And what this is gonna cause, when the, the rain falls, it's gonna, if you get a puddle that comes to the edge of your house, it could rot your two by fours, it could rot your wood and cause you trouble. So you have to make it unleveled. And it is usually for, for concrete, it's gonna be one eighth per foot. So it's gotta have a small uneven floor, catching the water and releasing it out away from your house, not towards your house, cause you don't want your wood to rot and cause you trouble. Um, on this one, well, no, you're, you're gonna be fine. Just don't make it level and make sure that the water moves away from your house. And that's pretty much it. Let me see, I covered everything. Yes, so there you have it. Uh, remodel with a caution. And these are just small tips that could save you a lot of headaches, a lot of money. Imagine if you don't put the metal plates where, the, where they go through the wood, believe it or not, you put a, 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 if you put a nail through that, it could cause a spark they could cause a fire, they could bring down your house. So just be very careful. If you choose to get a permit, which is the wise things to do, is you, you apply for it on your city, then your city reviews what you're gonna do, and they see what you're gonna do. They come in, and whoever you hire, they go in steps. First they build the wall, they build a frame. The city inspector comes in, makes sure that everything checks out, the beam on top, the header, actually it's a header on top, make sure that it's wider and it's gonna be able to carry the weight. Then after they check the framing, they go, okay, do your plumbing. They come and make sure the pipes are well connected, that they have the proper height, and, and they check for the metal plates, they do the electrical, then they do the insulation, they check everything for you. You're gonna be better off, you're gonna be safe doing that. Then once everything's checked off, electrical, plumbing, insulation, and everything checks off, they go, okay, go ahead and cover it. Once you put on the drywall, believe it or not, they come and make sure that there's the proper distance for every screw on the drywall. Make, Cause you know, you don't just wanna put two screws, one on top, one on the bottom. Chances are it's not gonna hold. So there's, there's a certain distance for every screw that you're gonna put in the drywall. The lath on the outside, there's a paper that goes around the, the doors and around the windows before you actually put the lath. Finally, you put the lath and the inspector comes in and makes sure that the lath and the paper are, are properly installed. And look, everything's gonna be safe. Once they check out all the screws on your drywall, they go, okay, now you can put putty on them. You can put the putty and, and have it nice and smooth. You can put your stucco, have it nice and smooth. And your stucco, they have to check it too. They put the first coat and they have to scratch it. They call the, it's called a scratch coat. And then after that, they go, okay, everything checks off. Okay, go ahead and put your your brown, they call it brown because now it's smooth, and finally they put the color, so it's good to pull a permit, but if for some reason, you're not gonna pull a permit because it's just a wall, and it's no big deal then, uh, I give you some, some tips. Now, many times, uh, people that install cabinets, usually they know what they're doing. Uh, cabinet people know what they're doing. However, this is where the plates come in because in order for them to screw on the cabinets, they gotta find the two by four, and they can, they can the two by four, and they gotta find it. Usually, if they can tap or they can put in a screw and make sure that it's a holding on, but they also sell this device at the Home Depot where they scan it, and when it finally hits the two by four, it beeps, beep, 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 and it shows a green line, and they can screw onto that. If people don't know and they just screw onto the drywall, hey, this cabinet can fall right back before they even leave the house, because it's not gonna hold, it's just, they're screwing onto cardboard, basically. It's very, the drywall is not very strong, but if they screw onto the two by fours, then they're gonna be fine. And that's where the metal plates come in, because if there's a, a wire that's running through there, and they hit it with a screw, it's not gonna go in. Well, they, they could either move up a little or down a little, and screw it properly, and you're gonna be safe, and they're gonna be safe. And there you have it. I hope it serves you, and if you know anybody that's gonna remodel without a permit, these are good tips for them to know. Very well, till next time, your friend, the ambassador of reading, wishing you well today and always, knowing that you will find and get what you are looking for. Thank you for watching our channel, and congratulations for making it here. 
where we give information that benefits the individual that's watching and their loved ones. I invite you to subscribe and be part of our channel. Set the notifications and watch the new videos. Thank you and welcome.